Peace and welcome to Behind the Bleeps and Bloops, a series where we like to talk about video game music. Today is all about a famous riff that many people have heard before but may not know the history behind it. So join us today as we talk about the Asian riff. The first thing I need to mention is the fact that this is an invention of Westerners, and it probably should be retired. The Oriental Riff, or as it's known sometimes, the East Asian Riff, is a musical phrase that dates back to 1847 when it was used in an Aladdin stage show titled The Grand Chinese Spectacle of Aladdin, or The Wonderful Lamp. It wasn't the exact same riff as we have today. It has undergone transformations through the years. One of the first uses that has a similar structure would be from 1930, a short titled Laundry Blues. As you can see, it's not the most politically correct piece of work, and I don't want to turn this into politics, so let's just say, in this modern age, I think this should not be used anymore. I'm here just to talk about the history of it, and I will refer to it as the Asian Riff from here on out. Before the 1960s, the riff was mostly used for stage plays and cartoons, but around the 1970s, it started to lose its power as it started to be used in more pop culture. And in one of the first modern uses I could find it in would come from 1970 by Alan Morehouse, Expo in Tokyo. found mainstream popularity in 1974 when used by Carl Douglas in his track Kung Fu Fight. And the Carl Douglas song has appeared all over the place. One example, it was remade for the Jackie Chan movie Super Cop. There was Punky Jackie Chan on a mission from Hong Kong. He said, Here comes the big boss. <laughs> and also remade by CeeLo for Kung Fu Panda, which oddly enough, Jackie Chan does voice act in as Master Monkey. The Carl Douglas song has been featured or remade in many different movies or TV shows. So that alone has spread the Asian riff around for the last almost 50 years. The Asian riff has appeared in many pop songs over the years. I won't go through on an entire list, but I have found about 50. And now that we have established the tune and the fact it's well known, let's get more into the video game side of things. So this following list is just games that I have found the theme in. I am 100% sure there are more games that have it, so if you know any game and I didn't list it, please comment it, so we can make this the most in-depth list online. Some of the following themes may not have every note and may not be the exact same, but the general feel is there, and you could say they may be inspired. Either way, a couple notes are there, and yes, as always, it's just for fun anyways. So here is a quick Asian riff montage.
So there you have the history of the Asian Rift and most of the games it appears in. Hopefully this one is retired. If you want to use a song to represent Asia, try one that was created in the country you want to portray. A good example would be the song Sakura Sakura. It's a Japanese song and it's used many times as background music for Japanese stages. We have a video with the history of the song, just look for this thumbnail. Join us next Friday for oddly familiar Parappa the Rapper songs, or you can check it out right now on Patreon. Anyways, for now, I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.